Hi everybody, Brian Prendergast here, uh, a member of the Facebook group, uh, Songbook Pro Users Group, and you'll see brackets uh, unofficial, that's how you'll know, and uh, the people on there help everybody else out to use the program, so I do a couple of videos now and, th now and then, none of us get paid for this, there's no affiliates, there's nothing. Alright, this is the easiest way to get songs from the internet into your Songbook Pro. All you need is Google, Soundbook Pro, and a couple of fingers. So here we go. We're going to type in uh, Hotel California, or Horse With No Name, Lyrics and Chords. That's what I'm going to type into Google. So here we go. Horse With No Name, Ultimate Guitar with the Force, and it could be any of them. So what you do is click and drag. So I'm going to click where the word intro is. I'm not worried about the title for the moment. Click and drag all the way down, there's all your lyrics. And when they're selected, using your mouse, right click and left click on copy. That puts it into the, I'm just going to make sure I'm still recording here. I am, yeah. Uh, so that puts it into the computer's memory. So right click with your on the text and left click on copy. Then go into songbook. And make sure you're in songs, not sets, you're in songs. And click this little plus button here down there. And you'll see create new song. So this is dummy text that they've put in the background. There's actually nothing there. So we're going to type in the song title, horse with no name. And I always put the key because it's easier to read when you're on the stage. So here we go, A minor. Now, remember we went uh, right click copy. Now I'm going to get you to click right up there in the corner and right click paste. So that's how you paste it in. So it was in the computer's memory and it's pasted in. And for the tech techies out there, it's control C is copy, control V is paste. Option C on a Mac, Option V on a Mac. So copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So here we are, here's our words in, everything's great. Uh, and uh, verse one, there's the words up there, there's the title, nice and big. You can enlarge the text yourself later on, I'll show you that. But okay, the person on the site wanted to know how do I move the chord positions if he's after getting some something like this off the internet and the chords in the wrong place. Uh, okay, I'm going to pretend that in this line I was looking at all the life. See this line here. I'm going to move that D6 to the to all. So I put a click and put a cursor before the D6 and the only keys involved are backspace your space bar and your enter key. So backspace, that's now there. Space bar brings it back. Backspace brings it there. Space bar brings it there. You could uh, highlight it and press delete or get rid of it if there's a completely wrong chord there. Or, um, and that's basically how you do it. That's the easiest way of getting stuff in. And then once you get it in and you're happy with it and whatever, click, make sure to click the save button up the top. And then once you have the save button, use the magnifying glass on the right to zoom it up to get it to the right size of that you can read it. All right, that's great. But now, I don't want uh, the, the uh, chords. Don't want the chords anymore. Uh, the lads have said, no, it's too confusing with the chords all over there. So click this edit up here. And you should be able to go in and edit the song. See, I'm using recording software. So, right, so let's get rid of this intro. I'm pressing the delete button here now. Let's get rid of this. We'll click and drag and wipe over that. Good luck. 
let's just wipe over that line pressing delete twice to shuffle them up pressing delete twice to shuffle them up and do that so it's all to do with your preferences you know sometimes people just have the chords on one a verse so the guitar player knows how to play it and then there might be five verses so he doesn't need to put the chords on the on all the verses so he'll just put the chords on one verse and one chorus well you can see how i did that and how it most of my songs look like this because i just know them by because i've been playing them for years but that's the easiest way of getting um things in songs into the songbook pro and uh have a look at the facebook group you'll join it contribute to it and uh, keep playing keep rocking